it's a two to one decision in favor of the pro. Um, I said, and the reason I said is very simply, the only argument you go for in your last speech, I think you're doing a much better job on impact comparisons and that type of stuff. However, the only argument you go for is that it's a recruitment tool for ISIS, which means people act out violently because they play video games. That doesn't answer back his argument, though, which is people aren't violent. If people play video games, that's an outlet, which means people aren't recruited by ISIS. So I think his term fundamentally answers your impact, which means you have nothing to go for. I think in your last speech, or I don't think, in your last speech, had you have extended any other impact, such as empathy, self-esteem, something that's not directly related or hinging upon the violence, then you win this debate. Right? Um, well, uh, I think both teams did a really good job. Unfortunately, uh, for the con, the pros card was 2012, and the best con card was 2006, and so I didn't feel like that card could possibly address ISIS. I mean, ISIS didn't come around until recently, so um, seeing as though that argument was never answered, and seeing as though the pro extended it, I, I had to vote on it, and, and they did a good job of the magnitude, so I voted for the pro. Um, yeah, I'm going to strongly and politely disagree with what Mike said. I don't think you ever explained why playing a violent video game decreases violence. So, to me, that's just like a statement that you're making, and I don't know why that's true. Um, I also um, just feel like you've, you've made the same speech three times. Almost the exact same thing. And you just kind of keep saying the same point again and again and again. And your argument's not evolving, and it's not getting more detailed. Every time you give a speech, you should be adding things to it and making it bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And instead, your speech is getting like smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. And so I think um, you need to, you know, in your first speech, you had four different points. And at the end of the debate, you said one thing. And I think that's too small. And I think you need to use some of those other things in your last speech as well. Uh, I also want to say this to you because I've seen you do it in Crossfire in two debates. When somebody asks you a question, why is this true? You shouldn't have said, because X person said so. Because Fisher said this, it's true. Well, why is Fisher right? Because Fisher is a professor. And in one of the debates, somebody said, well, professors can be wrong about some things. So what makes this person right? When you answer, those questions, you need to look at your quote and try to explain what the information is talking about. Like your evidence talks about how a lot of the studies that try to say that there is more violence don't have a good, they, they can't demonstrate the relationship between violence and a video game very well. So that's what your answer should be to the question, not because he says so. You know, just because Mike said that you won doesn't mean that you won and that Mike is right. So, just because people say stuff, we shouldn't just assume that it's right because they said it and because they're smart. Um, Vincent, I think you did a better job in this debate with your impact calculus in the last speech. I'm glad that you qualified the recruitment of ISIS to some people as opposed to trying to make it seem as if every person playing a violent video game was on ISIS. I think that was a good shift. I that was great. Um, and uh, I, I wish you all would also use some of your stuff from Crossfire in your speeches. Like, the question of why, why can't you get hand-eye coordination and visual-spatial cognition 
from a nonviolent video game? I don't, his answer was, my information doesn't respond to this question. And that would have been an easy moment for you to capitalize off of that. To point that out? 